Oh, Lord, our hearts are breaking as we remember this time, very difficult time of the Holocaust. And, Lord, we want to remember with love every single person that perished and every one of our people that perished during this very painful time. And at the same time, Lord God, we remember those who have perished in many, many different holocausts over the years. And especially, Lord, we want to pray now for these very difficult times. We want to pray for our people in the land of Israel. We just really want to ask your protection upon them and upon all peoples who are being, uh, who are being slaughtered, especially our people and people in Ukraine at this time, Lord God that we just pray that all holocausts be gone. And at the same time, Lord God, we, we want to walk with you and to know that you are in charge, you are sovereign. And with that, Lord, we just want to give to you our most heartfelt Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto Leolam Baed Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. Blessed be his name, whose glorious kingdom is forever and ever. Echad Eloheinu Gadol Adoneinu Kadoshemo Gadol Adonai Iti Una Roma Mashmo Yachta One is our God, great is our Lord, holy is his name. Exalt the Lord with me, and let us extol his name together. Amen. And we're going to right now go to our Torah portion today. And these are going to be selected readings from the, from the Tanakh, from our Torah, that are specifically, we believe, related to the Holocaust. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMavorach Baruch Adonai HaMavorach Leholam Vaher Baruch Adonai HaMavorach Leholam Vaher Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim V'Natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch atah Adonai, noten haTorah. Amen. From Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 15, announcing the curses for disobedience. But it shall come about, if you do not obey the Lord your God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, with which I charge you today, that all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. From Lamentations, chapter 1, verses 1 through 4, the sorrows of Zion. How lonely sits the city that was full of people. She has become like a widow who was once great among the nations. She who was a princess among the provinces has become a forced laborer. She weeps bitterly in the night, and her tears are on her cheeks. She has, has none to comfort her among all her lovers. All her friends have dealt treacherously with her. They have become her enemies. Judah has gone into exile under affliction, and under harsh servitude she dwells among the nations. But she has found no rest all her pursuers have overtaken her in the midst of distress. The roads of Zion are in mourning 
because no one comes to the appointed feasts. All her gates are desolate. Her priests are groaning. Her virgins are afflicted, and she herself is bitter. From Lamentations chapter 2, verses 11 and 12. My eyes fail because of tears. My spirit is greatly troubled. My heart is poured out on the earth because of the destruction of the daughter of my people when little ones and infants faint in the streets of the city. They say to their mothers, where is grain and wine? As they faint like a wounded man in the streets of the city as their life is poured out on their mother's bosom. From Lamentations verse 3, verses 19, chapter 3, verses 19 through 26. Hope of relief in God's mercy. Remember my affliction and my wandering, the wormwood and bitterness. Surely my soul remembers and is bowed down within me. This I recall to mind. Therefore I have hope. The Lord's loving kindness is indeed never cease for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I have hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the person who seeks him. It is good that he waits silently for the salvation of the Lord. Leviticus 26, verses 40 through 45. Israel repents, God remembers. If they confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their forefathers in their unfaithfulness, which they have committed against me, and also in their acting with hostility against me, I was also acting with hostility against them to bring them into the land of their enemies. <clears throat> or if their uncircumcised heart becomes humbled, so that they then make amends for their iniquity, then I will remember my covenant with Jacob, and I will remember also my covenant with Isaac, and my covenant with Abraham as well, and I will remember the land. For the land will be abandoned by them, and will make up for its Sabbaths, while it is made desolate without them. They, meanwhile, will be making amends for their iniquity, because they rejected my ordinances and their soul abhorred my statutes. Yet, in spite of this, when they are in the land of their enemies, I will not reject them, nor will I so abhor them as to destroy them, breaking my covenant with them, for I am the Lord their God. But I will remember for them the covenant with their ancestors, whom I brought out of the land of Egypt, in the sight of the nations, that I might be their God. I am the Lord. From Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 through 19, praising and trusting God in adversity. Though the fig tree should not blossom, and there be no fruit on the vines, though the yield of the olive should fail, and the fields produce no food, Though the flock should be cut off from the fold, and there be no cattle in the stalls, yet I will exult in the Lord. I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he has made my feet like hinds feet, and makes me walk on my high places. Amen. Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Temet, Vichaye Olam Nata Betochenu, Baruch Atarunai, Notein HaTorah. Amen. Let's all stand for the mourner's Kaddish. As we stand and recite this wonderful ancient prayer, uh, we remember 
with love those who have perished in the Holocaust. And at the same time, um, something interesting about this prayer is there's no mention of death. It's full of praise for God, praise for his sovereignty, and also prayer for him to establish his kingdom. And I think that these days, that prayer is going to become more and more prevalent in this day and age that God's kingdom be established in this world, throughout the whole world. And um, with that said, let's all say this together in the English. Magnified and sanctified may God's great name be in the world he created by his will. May he establish his kingdom in your lifetime and in your days and in the lifetime of all the house of Israel, swiftly and soon, let us say, Amen. May his great name be praised forever and ever for all time. Blessed and praised, glorified and exalted, raised and honored, uplifted and lauded, be the name of the Holy One, Blessed be he, beyond any blessing, song, praise, and consolation uttered in the world, let us say, Amen. May there be great peace from heaven and life for us and for all Israel, let us say, Amen. May he who makes peace in his high places make peace for us and for all Israel, Amen. Amen. And now together in the Aramaic. Yikada v'yikada shame raba, the alma divra chirute, v'yam lich malchute, v'ya keichon uviomechon uvchaye de kol bet Yisrael, ba agala uvizman kariv v'imru. Amen. Yehi shame raba mevarach le olam ulame almaya. Yit barach, for yit tabach, for yit paar, for yit roman, for yit nasse, for yit hadar, for yit ale, for yit halal, shme the kudisha, berichu. Le ela min kol birchata, vishirata, tushbachata, vinechemata, da amiran, ve alma, vimru, amen. Yehe, shlama raba min shemaya, vichaye, alenu, via kol Israel. Vimru, Amen. O se shalom, Bim Ramav, who <coughs> ya se shalom, Alenu vial call Israel, Vimru, Amen. And together, O se shalom, Bim Ramav, who <coughs> ya se shalom, Alenu. Vihal kol Yisrael Vimru Imaru Amen